Hello friends, this is Pradil again. You are watching my channel Baby Tutorials. Before I start today's poem, How to Tell Why That Means Press those people who did not subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel and let's get started today. This falls in class 10 CBSC English uh, poem and we shall talk about in detail, line by line of this particular poem. Let's get started. How to tell why that means. At first, before we begin, we must focus on this particular word tell. This actually indicates how to identify. How to identify or how to distinguish wild animals. The poet here actually, we have got the poet here, you can see at the bottom, this is uh, Caroline Wells. And Caroline Wells, the poet has in a very humorous way told us how to identify wild animals. Of course, there is a sense of euphemism in a way where harsh states are spoken in a very pleasant and agreeable way. But uh, here we shall find different different animals, all wild and dangerous animals, except the last one that is chameleon. But except that, all other animals are going to be presented here in a way. Uh, dangerous animals in a very positive and in a very funny way to be presented. Though your way of identifying those animals will be very much pathetic and dangerous. You will be identifying each and every animal while dying. So this is not a good idea, of course, but what to do? This is the way the poet has put, of course, the funny and humorous way. Let's go through it. So here, here it goes. The first standard, I can see. Okay, before we begin, the first standard, we'll look at once. This humorous poem suggests some dangerous ways to identify or tell wild animals. We need it loud, give it a strong and regular rhythm. Anyway, so there is. We have got a particular rhyme scheme that runs throughout the poem, uniform and not at all, a rhyme scheme which is, uh, you can say, a tough one, let us go through, what is the rhyme scheme here, you see, trance A, East B, advance, A in A, and beast B, so here it matches A, B, A, B, then you see, dying, it is of course C, lion, it is of course D. So we do not have a match actually between this fifth and sixth line. We have got all six line stanzas. You can see six line stanzas. So how it happens, you see trans which have advance A A East Beast B B. In the same manner, dying lion. These are not the uniform matching ones. So these are going to be considered as C and D. Take a look at the next one ones. Round A U B ground A U B again the last two goes different C and B. Similarly, we shall find the same sort of rhyme scheme all around there throughout the poem. Take a look at this is going to be the same thing here. I'm not going in detail. You can check it anytime. Anyway, let's go through the poem. If you if ever you should go by chance. It says that if ever you should go by chance, by chance, if you go, where you go? To jungles. You see, here, by chance and to go, these are inseparable uh, sentences. So this should be considered as enchantment. In other words. One line you cannot finish, you go to the next line to finish the line. So here, the poet says that if you should go by chance to the jungles. If you ever, uh, if you go to jungle actually by chance, and where he particularly indicates in the east. Why in the east? Actually, east refers to Asian countries. In the Asian countries, if you go by chance to the jungles, what will you find? He says that, and if there, should you to advance, or should you to advance? Focus on this part of the sentence. It means that uh, if Towards you advances. If towards you advances, towards you advances, who will advance? Take a look at the next line, you'll get to know it. A large and thorny beast. What is thorny? Thorny is particularly referring to color. This is so brownish and yellowish. Browning and yellowish color animal is called thorny. So here we say that if you go to the jungles of the east and there you find that towards you 
what animal is advancing towards you and that is large and bony beast it's a large animal and of course an animal which is having a color of greenish yellowish color if he roars roaring is one of the characteristics of lion so if he roars as you are dying so the funny part comes here the poet says that when you be dying in that time if he roars then you can identify that lion what is that going to be then you will know it is the asian lion then we will get to know that this is the asian lion and the funny way of identifying this particular asian lion is that you need to understand if he roars when you are dying that that is an asian lion Let's start stanza two, and in stanza two we find, uh, or sometime when roaming round. Suppose you are roaming, sometime you are roaming round somewhere. A noble wild beast greets you. A uh, funny way of stating the wild beast, a noble one. Here, yeah, noble in the sense elegant, it's elegant, grand uh, animal. It's a beast. If it greets you. Again, a funny thing that we added here: um, a noble wild beast, beast greets you with black stripes on a yellow ground. What is ground here? It is not a ground actually. It talks about the body of that particular animal. If you find on the body of that particular animal what your black stripes on the yellow body, just notice if he eats you. Uh, again, this is a funny way of stating things. The poet says that just notice when he eats you, the simple rule may help you learn the Bengal tiger to discern. To discern, to discern, to discern is called to identify or to distinguish. So you can identify a wild animal like Bengal tiger. How will you do this? And this is going to be possible if you find black stripes on yellow ground. So black stripes on yellow ground if you find you be sure that that is particularly the bengal tiger and while eating you need to remember this rule funny thing is that you will be eaten by the tiger and you'll have to remember this rule that there are black stripes and they only can identify that this is bengal tiger anyway let's move to the next stanza if strolling forth what is strolling strolling is called moving or you can say walking, taking some to walk and all. While moving forth, while moving forth, um, if while moving forth, the beast you view, an animal you see, where will you see that? That is not told here. Uh, whose hide with spots peppered? Peppered is called covered. Now his whole body is covered with spots, and his whole body gets hidden uh, by the spots. Here, which helps him to cover the whole body. Actually, these spots also helps him helps this particular animal to have a little camouflaging capability. So this particular spots on the body helps him to hide. Anyway, whose hide spots is peppered as soon as he has slept on you. What is left? Jumped. As soon as the animal has jumped on you, and then you'll be sure. What to be sure? You will know it is the leopard. You will know this is the leopard. Now, it will do no good to roar with pain. He'll only lip and lip again. It says that a leopard will, actually a leopard always takes his, and takes his prey to the top of the trees and then keeps it there and eats slowly and slowly. So if you go on roaring also in pain, the leopard will not pay at all any attention. It will keep on jumping, jumping and jumping and it will go on moving towards wherever it wants. So you will know it is a leopard when you understand that it is jumping on you and that is a way of identifying a leopard and if you grow if you if you uh, you know groan with pain if you roar with pain doesn't matter it will not pay attention to you and it will go on jumping and jumping again so this is the way to identify a leopard let's move to the next stanza and this particular stanza talks about the bear bear is a very interesting animal a bear can uh, actually smell honey human for from kilometers distance. A bear is an animal which is very huge in body height. They even stay in hibernation. They have peculiar body activities. Though that, would be, that is not the important point here to discuss. Let us talk about what the poet wants to say here. If when you are walking around the yard, your yard when you are walking, you meet a creature there. If you meet a creature there, 
who hugs you very hard remember this is one of the special characteristics of a bear hugging and if a bear hugs it is not hugging you for loving you it is not hugging you because it has got little affection towards you no hugging is a quality which will crush a bear will crush a person or animal if it hugs so hugging is not sweet here at all so be sure it is a bear if it hugs you you will be sure that it is a bear if you have any doubts i guess he'll give you just one more care care means here loving touch and what is the loving touch here loving touch is nothing but he gave a hug he'll hug you once more if you have any doubt that this is a bear so how to identify a bear if it hugs you and hugs you very hard literally this works like uh, the snakes and the condors and other snakes which crushes the body of uh, that particular animal or human whoever it is and uh, bear also does in the same way but bear even kills other animals uh, with claws and the teeth whatever you say but this is one of the characteristics of bear you can uh, this can help you to identify a bear spoke to the next tangent uh, though to distinguish beast of prey a novice might non plus a novice is what one who is learning one who is learning so a novice might non plus a novice might a novice might non plus what is non plus non plus is actually here called puzzled a novice might get puzzled while identifying while identifying a, a wild beast puzzled so non plus means a puzzled so a novice one who is learning to identify wild animals he might be puzzled 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 in identifying these animals with which animals take a look at once the crocodile you will you always may tell from hyena thus you know differentiation between a crocodile and a hyena how will you differentiate how to tell them how to identify between a uh, crocodile and hyena is like this what sort hyenas come with many smiles very happy smiles hyenas make happy smiles but if they weep they are crocodile while eating actually while they the while they'll be uh, killing the beast of prey hyenas will be smiling this is hyenas i mean if you don't believe just take a look at once here there's a video where hyenas are nothing while eating it goes hyenas go on laughing like humans laugh hyenas laugh so why does go on laughing when they go on killing and eating the beast of prey and if there are the animals who weep while who, those who weep while killing and eating that's going to be crocodile a crocodile actually sheds tears because of activations of glands over there in their uh, body and that is the reason we see crocodiles shedding tears while they eat it's not actually tears uh, if you go through the biological aspects of this one you'll find the real reason for this anyway so these are the ways to identify hyena and crocodile hyena slap while killing and eating and crocodiles cry shed tears when it kills and eats the last one is not a dangerous one and the last one will not at all uh, be the funny way of identifying last one is just a little different than other all the animals told here a true chameleon is small lizard sort of thing it's like lizard you know chameleon nicely is the picture also given over here he hasn't any ears a chameleon doesn't have ear and not a single wing even it doesn't have wing if there is nothing in the tree it is the chameleon you see what is what does it mean if there is a if the last two lines are tricky the nothing on the tree means you are confused about your vision why confused because on the tree there's the chameleon which is in the camouflage state in the stage of camouflage the chameleon is there and that is why you will not be able to see the chameleon if you see nothing on the tree it is the camouflage camouflaged 
trillion that is there in the tree. And that's why you cannot see this one. You can see one picture over here I have arranged. Here, you cannot even identify properly the camouflaged chameleon. So, these are the ways of how to identify animals, how to tell wild animals. If you have any question, please write it down. I shall try to answer those. And if you wish to have any particular video to be made, please refer over there. I shall certainly do it. Thank you very much for watching.